All right, here we are back again with the uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough with the commentary with Jim Bob McLean of the Whiskey Drinkers of the Whiskey Drinker Gaming Channel. And this is episode 25. Oh, yeah. As you can see, Arthur has a nice uh, badge on. He's a sheriff in that one town. We're uh, just tricking everybody into thinking we're good people. Yeah, it's going all right. Not so good, I'm afraid. Well, it's too bad for you. Yeah, I'd like to go fishing, but we got shit to do. And as you guys can tell, whoops. Damn it. As you guys can tell on the map, we are wanted here. Over here, I, hell, I don't know. We're wanted down here, so. Hopefully, if we talk to this guy up here in this next mission, it's the only mission on the map, then hopefully we can, uh, figure this out and maybe get some bounties away but we might have to go up and pay him i don't know let's see what this guy wants horsey a or whatever all righty here he is whoa where you at horsey a calm down horse What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. All right. Let's get moving. Thank you, John. Whoa. We'll see you later. Swing That's around here. Look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Watch out, cowboys. Okay, oh, no. Let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You All right. Know the way? Yeah, I've been there. All so right. What exactly are we Oops. doing? We got to deliver this moonshine. This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a great boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. Oh, man. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it. Maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, she's at the house. All right. Let's do it. Come on, let me move. We'll be watching you. I'll be watching you. you. Driver? Proceed, please. Let's whip the hell out of these horses. Come on, come on. You're not going fast enough. Come on. Now, this is kind of a sketchy situation here. We're selling whiskey that we stole. Selling it right back to the people we stole it off of. <laughs> it's not a good idea. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor? I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, 
And who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Oh, man. Pleasure doing business with you. Freaking and worked. Listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rose, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. This seems weird, but okay. Here we go. Better get out of my way. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Yeah. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with... The sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need some. I ain't playing. Oh, this. oh shit. You know my feelings about Oh there. shit. Of course you're not. You Come know. on, horses. Oh, don't go there. You're clowns, idiot brother. There we go. There we go. Come on, swing around. What y'all got? You're the brother turned idiot. Just. Holy shit. Look sad and keep quiet. Wow, you Even know you can do that. You know what he's asked me to play right now? Put this hat on. Oh jeez. Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Uh. Oh. Perfect. Hey, what about you? You can't speak. You're turned idiot. Jeez, Quiet. idiot. I don't think that that's uh, politically correct. There, there, don't get mad now. After we're done with this, I want to go try to find a uh, mythological animal or whatever. Whoa, whoa, you gotta watch out, guy. Those guys were in front of me, I couldn't remember how to stop them. Swing her around in here, and we should be good. Come on, swinging around. Come on, you horses. <laughs> Look at the way I'm beating them. Here we go. There, bam. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. Her mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> Oh. Alright, it's strange. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen here. We are Gentlemen. about to find out. Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello! Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? Jeez. How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. Sir. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come on, Fenton. Just hand out the liquor. All right, go behind the bar. Right over here, I think. Yep. Gentlemen! 
Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Yeah. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad. Oh, we geez. buried her. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> That's real funny. Come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas and children. I'll have one bit of drinks. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look at gift horses in the bar. But I see a gift horse. That's some strong stuff. Just keep it going. Go drink up. Don't be shy, boys. Don't be shy. <laughs> Oh man, getting the whole town drunk. Bam. Oh, shit. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. We're going to have a shootout. Me? You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was going to buy. Gentlemen, we're in advertising. Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 crap. We don't run nothing. Got him. Where is everybody? Oh, I gotta save him. Come on. jump oh jeez there we go is he driving am I shooting I'm getting this out of here oh yeah got more coming after us let me see if I got any nothing better shoot them then I need this gun. Oh, 
Damn. Holy crap. That was intense. Just like how I like to go camping. Intense. <laughs> that was a joke. Oh shit. Damn. Oh, I think we made it. Holy shit. That was serious. Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Okay. Pull off the road here. What did this guy get me into? I'm already wanted everywhere. I thought this would help right. it out. We're good. Just made it worse. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertise. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> A lot of fun. Go speak to Dutch. All right, I think before I speak to Dutch, I'm gonna actually get rid of these bounties. So I think I have some money. I need to look into that. Yeah, well, get so some money. What do you think? Never mind. About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. Jeez. Sure. Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Jose should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that <coughs> complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince Ugh. each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback. Payback daddy. for his daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. What an asshole. Alright, well. There we got bronze. Whatever. I did my best. All right, now let's check out this satchel. All right, I got a decent amount of money, so we're going to run up there and see if we can get this bounty off me. What I want to see here, hair tonic. Drink some of this stuff. Got to get that beard grown. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. Should be going to sleep or whatever, but screw that. Get my bounties taken off of me. Is this my freaking horse? That ain't my horse. Arthur! Stay away.
away from me. Oh, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. <laughs> it always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. Whatever, man. I got shit Come to do. On, All right. We need to go. Post office right there. I think that's the closest one. Sky, all good? All right, we'll see you later, lady. Got things to do. People standing around. I got shit to do. Yeah. So, like I said, we're gonna get rid of these bounties. I don't like that. And they want me to go do stuff at the other place. They just caused all this trouble. I think I'm gonna go hunting. Oh, and that's the one thing I forgot all about. Leave my damn bear hat. It didn't go on. There we go. I think it hurt pigs or a dinosaur or something. Yep, there's pigs. It's not what I'm looking for. Oh man, it's wolves and everything. All right, come on. We need to get going here. Where are you going, buddy? All right, now this is where it gets sketchy. This is where I turn on to the uh, place I'm wanted. 120, that's not bad. I got a thousand something dollars. We should be fine. Let's maybe not take the roads. There, I only got one arrow. Some bitch. Ah, I missed him. Whatever. Oh. I don't think I was supposed to go up that way. All right. Anyways, we're getting there. I guess I just have to handle whatever comes up. If some lawmen come, I'm gonna have to mess them up. Yep. Whoa. Slowly make it up there. Be cool if you could like invent a car in this and then you, could, you know, like, use that car to drive around in. That'd be pretty cool. You could hit people on horses. <laughs> All right, my horse is about to die. He needs some uh, horse stimulant injected into him. There you go, you'll be fine now. Yeah. Keep pushing it. Come on, Louis the second, or is this the third? I can't remember. I think it's the second. I feel like I killed two horses. I don't, I don't know what's happening here, but we'll eventually see. Now, here is the... Let's go over here see if we got anything to fence. Oh, I can't shop because... Alright. And I need to wait until the morning. Let's get this thing paid off. I don't know what I was thinking. I think it's right up here. Yep, it is. 
Oh, oh, oh. We're okay. We're okay. I think the horse's head stuck. Hey, right, move it. Welcome. How do you do? All right, we need a pay bounty. How can one crook raise so much hell? There. There, okay, that must be the only place we have a bounty in. All right, let's check it out here. We are good to go. We are good to go. Now, next episode, I, get, I think I will go down here and figure this stuff out. Because next episode, I'm going to go and start hunting me some, uh, you know, whatever the hell they're called. Some of the uh, mystical animals that you get the things and then you can make the outfits. That's what I got that bear head from. All right, Dutch asked to find out more about the bounty hunters that... So, whatever his name mentioned. Dutch told you to meet John and Javier at Gray's place. Something to do with the Brathwaite's prize horses. I feel like that's going to be some horse racing. What's this down here? Dutch told you to meet up with Horsier and Sean at Brathwaite's Manor while they interrogate. Or wait, what? integrate themselves. Let's let's do that. That sounds a little bit easier. Yeah. I feel good. We paid our bounty off. I think the other place we're just wanted there. We did a crime or something earlier. I don't know. Alright. Turn this on. There we go. There's a lot to this game. There is, a, I mean, I, like I said, I'm gonna beat this game and try to do every single thing in this game. But it's a pretty long game. You got a lot of yeah. stuff going on. Like, what the hell was that? Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, it's a rotten. Oh, we must have hit into it. Oh yeah, look at that. Yep. Alright, let's get back going. this hey there that's my life i sing it it's my life oh hey there why don't you join me and have a seat over here by by the fire oh. sure why not by the fire this guy's drunk as hell mm. <laughs> bone dry Sins I'm carrying around. You won't even believe. But if I had a little whiskey to loosen up my tongue a little, I might I might tell you. I think I have a bunch of whiskey. What is that? X. Oh, I got a bunch of whiskey. Talk away. We'll see. See exactly how bad you are. Hmm. Only fitting that I'd be drinking the devil's brew. I'll be seeing him soon enough. Keep drinking, buddy. You guys thinking what I'm thinking? You're, you're a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. I ain't know what's worse. Seeing the ones we killed or watching the other ones die. A slow way. <sighs> well, 
Well, they pay well. Them government boys. But money don't last long. Uh -uh. It's, it's what you did. Sticks around. Keep talking, buddy. I know the feeling. Oh. I was a, a, a young man then, but I still see them faces as clear as yesterday. I do. Oh, wait, can I say something to him? I might risk your last minute feeling very sleepy all of a sudden. All right, I don't know what this guy is exactly talking about. Keep drinking, man. But I ain't gonna rob him. See what he's got over here. An apple. Salute him. Maybe you have a map or something. Native American ring. What the hell is that? Maybe I did something bad. All right, we are gonna take him with us. He might be important. Or we Let's might go. kill him. Let's see, where are, you, where are you going? Oh, we're going down here. So maybe we don't go down there. Go over here into the bayou. I think that might be a good idea. See, you get sidetracked in this game, you know? Cool stuff comes up. I figure you want to take advantage of that. Well, I wonder what happens if I... Jeez, friggin' Velociraptors. I wonder what happens if you take this guy back to your camp, though. Yeah. I don't know. I, don't, I think the bayou's a better idea, but... Right, Dottie wakes up. He probably disappears or something stupid. It's probably not worth it. Oh no. He's seen me. I gotta get the hell out of here. See, you gotta be careful because people see you and it's kidnapping. You don't want to kidnap. Alright, whoa. I mean, you want to kidnap, you just don't want to be seen. Just like that right there. Oh no, we got some people. Oh, jeez. Don't mind me, guys. Oh no, they seen it too. Gotta get the hell out of here. Oh no, they saw me too. Oh jeez. Gotta get the hell out of here. Alright, we're gonna get into the bayou and drop this guy and see if a crocodile eats him. Guy is sleeping. Whoa, gotta be careful. There's freaking crocodiles. Somewhere there's crocodiles. 
Oh, right up here. Let's get up here in a safe area. How the hell do I get him to... Got me some bait somewhere. It's all food. Oh, no, 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 not her before bait. Oh, you sit it down on the ground, I see. So we'll go down here. All right, we'll study this thing. I didn't do it right. There we go. Let's get the hell out of here. So, in theory, that should attract that damn crocodile. It's gonna leave. Oh, you dummy. You got a flower over here. Oh, man, what is this? Some tweeds. Oh, we got milkweed. Weed made out of milk. Wait, what the hell's happening here? Am I having issues with this? No, I'm not. All right, never mind. So I guess that didn't work. Still sleeping. How the hell do you get a crocodile to eat these guys? We need to find a more pissed off crocodile. There's got to be one around here somewhere. You watch, I'm going to get eaten trying to find one. Don't worry, guy, I got you. I mean, hey, if he wakes up, maybe he'll have a conversation with me, but if he don't wake up, he's getting eaten. Don't want to drown them, that's the thing. By accident. Need to find some animals here. Where the hell are all the crocodiles at? Right there, right there. Damn thing ran away from me. Coming for you, Crocodile. I've watched every episode of Crocodile Hunter. I'm not afraid of no crocodile. Come on, horse. Where are we going? Oh, it's probably boring as hell. 
But hold on, it'll be cool. Oh, I heard something. Oh, that's my horse. Horse, tell me where this crocodile's. Nah, I hear growling. I hear growling. Or is this guy snoring? I'm not sure. We're gonna chase this little one. Right beside him. Jesus, this is scary. This is scary. We'll put him right in his path. Look, there's a man. Right there, crocodile. Oh, we're gonna get the hell out of here. Someone coming. one down there. Now, I bet you if I do this predator bait thing again. Let's get the hell away from here. Why is this not happening? We'll give it a second. Wait, is, did he wake up? He starts singing. Oh, it's me singing. All right, you need to come here. You're getting on my freaking nerves, man. See another one down here. I just gotta be sneaky. There's a guy right there. Eat him. Eat him. What the heck? It's a kind of goat or something. Eat the guy. Here, we'll, uh, I know what we'll do. That didn't work. That didn't work. Since he's not going to eat them. Can he even do this? Guess not. We'll see what happens here. Give him a good gun just in case. Come on, eat the guy. All right, I'm gonna get the guy.
Run, run, run. Right here. I'll try to put it right on it. Oh, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, oh shit, he got me. Oh, damn it. I just yelled right there. That scared the living shit out of me. Well, that's what I get for playing with crocodiles. So I don't know what the hell's going on with that, but... Damn, that scared the shit out of me. So when we start doing some of these uh, ones where, you know, we're searching out some of these crazy animals, it is going to be pretty intense. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Guy's probably gone. Holy shit, holy shit. Just ran over a crocodile. You know what? I'm going to get me a little revenge. I'm gonna get a little revenge right now. There we go. Dirty bastard. He's dead, I think. Let's hope. Uh, one shot to the head. This should be a pretty good pelt right here. Look at that, make me some boots out of that. Whew. That's intense. Look at that. Oh, it's a poor alligator skin? Oh, we ran it over, that's why. I already say my satchel's full too, which I do need to eat. Alright, we'll eat later. Yep. We need to get back on track. Geez, sorry about that. Trying to do something cool, but it didn't work out. Let's head down here. John Maston. Let's also see what the hell I ran over right here. Oh, crow. Come on, get on. Yep. All right, let's go see John Marston. Let's see what the hell's even going on down there. Bonded with my horse a little bit more. Hell yeah, I'll take it. Let's see what's going on down here. Whoa! Can I help you there? Sure. Those supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. 
All right, how about the stables? I don't know who that guy was looking all cool by that tree, but I don't got time to look. Let's see what these assholes got schemed up. Like you, if you don't know me. You turn up in this town and you're helping everybody. And everywhere, there's trouble. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My oh. daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. Damn. Uh, I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. Whoa. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. Where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Hell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Oh, yeah. Looks like we're running some horses. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. All right, I have a feeling this isn't going to go as planned. The stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. All right. Watch out. <sighs> you all hey, over the dickhead. Place. Don't hit my horse, man. That ain't cool. Oh, Louie, you got to be easy. Sorry, my horse is stupid. Okay. I don't know where the hell we're supposed to go. I guess the whole way over on this side. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen him? Easy. Hey, Javier. Quit you it, man. Seen him? No, not yet. Oh, They're see there the already. other. They better keep their heads down. Set the other farm. You don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Oh, it's gonna be. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Anyway, leave that. We're getting close now. Let's see, let me get a good... Let's get the pump action. Springfield. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. That's right, but that's me. Perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay then. Let's head on up to the stable. Yeah, nah, I don't think they want their our business, Ronnie. Someone will come see you. Yeah, so. You see how I did that back there? Called you Ronnie, you not Dutch. <laughs> hey, wait. Will you stop messing stop around it. with that horse? That's it. Nice and easy. My name's gonna be Waldo. You know, like. Why are you doing that? Attention. 
My name will be Waldo though during this. Uh, you know, like, where's Waldo? <laughs> it's like the joke. All right, uh, Ronnie and Mitch, let's do this. I guess we're stealing horses. So. All right, I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. This one doesn't give me anything All on my right, map. Oh, here we hitch go. Up here. Hold. Here you go, Louie. We'll be right back. Gotta see a man about a horse. Boy, let me do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you, boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. Oh, yeah. These here's mainly the studs. We're gonna knock them out, right? Purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Gonna knock them out. Officially. Of course. This here's Cerberus. Oh, I broke his fucking neck. You're dead now, motherfucker. Okay. Calling us names. Don't need. Nobody recognizes. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy now. Easy. It's okay. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. I'm having a hard time doing this. I don't know what the hell's going on. You really do gotta calm him down. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. We're friends. I ran out of damn time. Jesus Christ! No trick. What's your retry snake point? Uh, horse wasn't going with me. He wasn't liking me because I did something wrong to him. Let's do it better this time. Jace. This here's Cerberus. All right, knock this guy out. Cerberus. You're dead, motherfucker. Uh -huh. Greaser, huh? All right, so the okay. horses are. Bandana's on. Don't... Nobody recognizes. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. All right. Come on. Good boy. Easy there. Now. Easy now. Whoa. Now. Easy. <laughs> Marston, you're going to tether. <laughs> okay. I'll be here. You're going to lead the stallions. Wait, why am I not grabbing a damn thing? Easy. <laughs> Okay. Easy. Easy there. Whoa. Easy. You're okay. I think it's gonna do the same damn thing. Oh Jesus. Craps. It's making me mad. I don't know how exactly I'm supposed to do it. All right, we're gonna go for her again. Third time's a charm. Easy, easy.
Oh, man. Taking forever to load. What do you know? All right, here we go. Here you go, boy. Hey, guess what? Oh, you're dead, motherfucker. Oh, your neck's broke. Uh, greaser, huh? <laughs> okay. We killed him, didn't we? Don't... Nobody recognizes us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. All right, maybe if I go on the other side of him. Come on. Good boy. Easy now. Easy. Whoa, now. Easy. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. All right, we'll try to pet him again. Easy, boy. Let's make sure he's good. There we go. All right, we got it this time. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are we doing? What are you doing? Let's uh -oh. go quick. Come on, Louie, let's go. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! You're being robbed! Shut up. You son of a bitch! Oh no. Look out ahead. We're coming out of the fields. All right, it's okay. Oh. How's, how's that feel? Watch out by that way. Let's go, let's go. Oh no. Look there. The fence is down. Come on. See if we can get rid of them in the trees. Let's hope. Behind us, dumbass. You see any more? No, don't think so. Holy All crap! Right. Let's get these horses to Clement's Cove. Whoa, you okay there, boy? Oh, they're gonna probably get Shit. loose. Oh, uh, what do you know? Keep going, I'll get them. Man, that was quick. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. Let's get this over with. Holy shit, I need to get on this horse. I need to get on this horse. Wow, that almost went bad. That could have gone smoother. <laughs> That'll be on my gravestone. Here, you think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? Oh, this is gonna probably go wrong too. Trying, come on. Watch this horse, because he's going to run free. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. 
John. Arthur. Javier. So what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. Wow. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 650 for them. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only <laughs> it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys, but I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you? We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it. Man, it. got ripped off. Uh huh? All right. You got goddamn fool monster. Got bad info. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again. Freaking Marston. Come on. Yeah. Dumbass. I, he knew it too. I knew it. He even said it. He said, We're not going to get that much. Believe the yarn spun us by one of that gray family and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. So writing in his journal a little bit. I think he needs to go for a little swim. Which, he can't really swim. He'll die if you go in there for too long. But this is enough, I think, to clean me off. Oh, yeah, it takes down his stamina. If you try to swim across that river, you're going to die. All right, let's see. What, uh... Real slow. Hold on, I just want to see uh, what we got over here going on. We got everything. Oh, yeah. Where the hell is that boat at? Good morning, Arthur. Yeah, whatever. Oh, the boat's over there. We're good to go. All right, so uh, I think that's where we're going to stop this one. We'll come back, talk to Dutch, see what's going on. Eh, maybe we'll talk to him. Eh, we'll... What? Uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, that's right. Maybe one day you'll save mine. Or my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this. Oh. From one of those awful men. The hell is it? You should have it. Wait. Why are you walking that way with me? Thank you. But you were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never forget was. my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend. Get your head out of the clouds. All right, let's see real quick what this is. Dutch asked you to find out more about the bounty hunters that Tailaway mentioned. I don't know if I want to do that yet. We're going to hold off on that. Maybe go do the other one, but this is where we're going to stop it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me donate some meat. You got all kinds of stuff. All right, Pierce. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Well done, Mr. Morgan. I'll give him some good amounts of meat. Just make sure it goes into the pot, not your pocket. 
Thank you. All right. Good job, Mr. Morgan. There you go. Wait, let's see if we can do up any this upgrades. This can't do with a few improvements. Yeah. Take a look at my ideas. Not see. That's the thing. I might need those things to create some of these. Hell, I don't know. Keep All right. My eye out for some good material. There, we hooked up the camp. We're doing our good job. Being a good neighbor. All right. Well, that's where we're gonna stop it. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode where we're going to do something even cooler. I might even skip out on all this stuff. Wait, there's a question mark. we got to go Morning, check that Arthur. out. Before we end it, we're going to check out this question mark. You okay, Arthur? You want to talk? Sure. Yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? I've been killing uh, a lot. I mean, innocent folk. I don't know why. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well, you know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. Sure, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Ma could put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. No, there's always that. Okay, yeah. It's a nice conversation we had. All right, well, like I said, that's where we're going to end it. I'll see you guys back next time. Hopefully we'll get some of those cool uh, uh, animal skin things. Which I think the first one's around here somewhere. I'm not totally sure, but anyways... Make sure to hit that like, subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. And, uh, oh, yeah. Damn it.